Hello guys, this is Red from Red's Third Dimension Gaming, and today I'm bringing you a review on Atelier Shally plus Alchemist of the Dusk Sea for the PlayStation Vita and PlayStation TV. When Atelier Shally, Alchemist of the Dusk Sea, released in 2015, it was one of the best games in the Atelier series. It's been over a year, and we finally have a PlayStation Vita version of this adventure. The final game in the Dusk series is here and it is a well-made one. In Atelier Shally Plus, the world of Dusk has dried up and there is a water crisis. You get the choice to play the story from two perspectives, Shalastera and Shalette, aka the two Shallies of the game. Shalastera is a princess and a descendant of the chief from her tribe. She goes off trying to find help for her tribe because they're pretty much out of water everywhere is pretty low in water and her tribe is pretty much out of it. But in order to do so, she must help a town called Stellard, and this is where her crew and she stumble upon. Out of the two Shallies, she is more humble and warm-hearted. Shalette is a poor street sweeper and young alchemist. She basically cleans up trash off the streets for a living. Shalette wants to become a better alchemist. She also does not have the same luxuries as Shalastera and does everything she can to help out her mom. Eventually in the story, you'll get to have both Shallies in your quest party, no matter which one you chose. Once again, the daytime system is gone and I love it. You now have more freedom and less stress in your life you no longer have to worry about how many items you pick up when adventuring or fighting so many enemies and then there goes a day and then you only have so many days to finish missions it's not like that in this game i also appreciate that you don't have to worry about getting a bad ending because you weren't able to finish everything in the amount of time the game was giving you and then you had to worry about spending so much time doing this and that it makes it so much easier without the time system so instead of having a time system, we now have a goal set up where you have a very easy to use and simple system. You have a main goal, mind, person, body, and skill goals. The main goals are the only ones that you must complete and the rest will go towards specific areas of your stats. The alchemy system is easy and fun. You can create anything from armor to ice bombs. The possibilities are almost limitless. The synthesis process in this game is perfect and it should not be changed. Even though they already made it more complicated in Atelier Sophie. So I would not recommend Atelier Sophie. This game get it over Atelier Sophie. That game went backwards instead of forward. There are three difficulties in this game. Story Watcher, which is really easy, Game Fan, and Hardcore. So in Atelier Shally Plus, you can change the difficulty at any time. Hardcore difficulty will give you an experience booster, increase enemy health, more money, and rare combat loot can be obtained. It's for the more experienced JRPG fans, it can bring easy bosses up to your level. Another feature is that you can change the voices from English to Japanese. So if you don't like the English voice actors, you can change it over to Japanese. The towns also have lots of people to talk to and are very desert-like. Pretty much the whole game is a lot of desert because of the lack of water. You also see characters from past Dusk games like Eska. The battle system is turn-based and just as easy as Eska and Laji. You can have up to six characters at a time in battle, three in the front and three in the back. You will have attack, skill attack, item, defend, and run. The only ones that can have items are alchemists, which is the only problem that I had with the combat. Essentially, this makes it hard to heal some of the characters or revive when these are the only ones who can heal. Burst is something that was added to the game where you can do about twice as much damage once you raise the meter far enough. Attack Assist is also something that makes a return in this game. Graphics in the Plus version of Atelier Shally are worse than the PS3 version. I had issues with it on that version too, but there's screen tearing, dropped frames, and a worse overall quality on the PlayStation Vita version of the game. At least we know they worked on it for the next game in the series, Atelier Virus, because that game looks beautiful and pretty good compared to the previous games in the series. I've already played it, that's why I'm saying that. If you want to go check it out, I have gameplay on my channel already for that game. In Atelier Shally, everything could be improved and in the plus version, it looks downgraded. Overall, Atelier Shally 
Plus is a downgraded version of the PlayStation 3 version that comes with all the DLC but no cross save system. There's a cross save system in Atlia Sophie, which is the most disappointing game in the series, in my opinion, other than Aisha, but not in this game. It'd be nice to take your progress from the PS3 over to this version, vice versa, if you already have the game for the PS3. The gameplay and alchemy are fantastic, but the graphics are decreased tremendously compared to the PlayStation 3 version. I give this game an 8 out of 10, same great gameplay and alchemy, but has a worse graphical fidelity overall. Koei Tecmo compensates a little bit by giving you all the DLC right off the bat. If you guys would like to read my full written review or see my original review for the PlayStation 3 version, you can click on the little eye icon and it'll take you to my PS3 review. It's a little longer, a little more in depth, but I talk a little slower in that one. And my written review is in the link below. You can go and check that out if you want to read it instead of listening to me. If you guys would like to buy the game and also help support my channel, you can use the PlayAsia link below, and that will take you to the limited edition if they still have it, or you can buy it somewhere on their website. They have it in stock, and that's for the physical edition. Or you can buy a PSN card from Amazon in one of the links that I have below. Or if Amazon actually puts it on their website again, you can buy it straight from Amazon from one of my links below, and that'll help support me. You also get three dollars off if you use the code r3d at your playasia checkout so that'll help you save on shipping if you want to see gameplay of this version of the game you can go check that out on my channel i have some up i won't be doing a whole lot more than that because i already got a lot for the ps3 on there and people started complaining so i kind of dropped the series and didn't really want to continue doing that and pursued other games so thank you guys for watching don't forget to thumbs up comment below and subscribe see ya what can I do to help myself? Ugh, what a drag. I don't care what I end up doing, as long as it isn't just trash duty. I want to travel and see the world. I want to do something in my own style that gets me recognized. Mom would be so proud. What could I do that would make me stand out in a crowd?